but for some reason, man, like I remember Fred came talk to me in 2004, Frederic Bousquet, and he was the world record holder in the 50 freestyle. Mm. And I saw him and I was like, man, I want to be like that guy. Like, mm. I want to be Fred. Like, I, I, he, he was the role model for me for so many years. Mm. And he was a big part of, of why I went to Auburn. And the other part was talking to, to Dave Durden. At the time, he was the assistant coach in Auburn. Mm. Mm. And to David Marsh. I mean, those, those two guys, man, they, they, for some reason, I felt all the time I, I talked to them, I felt confident. I felt secure. And I was like, you know, like there's something special here. Like, uh, mm. I don't know if they're that good in selling the school and everything in their program, but every time I talked to them, I was like, this is where I got to go. Like, this is, I, I was talking to other schools at the same time, but every time with Auburn, I was like, I, I already made my choice. Like, why am I keep talking to other schools and everything? Like, this is where I should go. And, and uh, you worked from the, from the, I mean, from the very beginning, it wasn't, I'm not going to say everything was, you know, great all the time and everything worked all the time, but yeah. like, uh, looking at the bigger picture, like it, it, it like it pretty much just, it was a, a place where I developed really quickly and, and it worked for me. I mean, the, the environment was something that I always wanted to have here in Brazil and I never had like this competitive environment that it's, it's normal. It's, it's, you know, just common in the U S. It's not normal in Brazil. I mean, in the U.S., you guys pretty much, you know, try to put everybody to race against each other within the team. And mm. this is not something that I, I was used to. And that, man, that was, for me, it was like it was a party every day in the pool. I mean, I always wanted to race and always wanted to challenge mm. myself. Mm. And uh, that's why I chose Auburn, pretty much. I mean, just I, I knew Fred was, you know, an international swimmer, world record holder at that school. Mm -hmm. and then great coaches behind it and i was like okay i gotta go there and but i always had that feeling too right i was like you know if it doesn't work i mean i i, I might go, you know either go back to brazil with a diploma from a u.s school mm. or i might have to go back to you know to my my old life and at least i tried so that's that, right. that was my thinking like i cannot pass this opportunity and and, and i just gotta go go there and see but when, once i saw the environment man i was like this is this is what I was looking for my entire life, like a place where I was, you know, challenged every time, like where, mm. you know, calling, you know, your teammates to, to race or, you know, just asking for them to raise the level of standards, which was something, you know, I always wanted to do, like just, right, right. just bringing people to the level of standards I believed and like seeing people actually, you know, just buying that idea and actually getting in. And I was like, man, I, I see more people like like I am, and so I was in a place where, you know, we had to we had to compete, we had to to do well, and the levels of standard was was something that I always wanted. And that's a once you came in 2006, it just became even bigger. I mean, I just I was I felt I felt like I was more adapt to the U.S. to the school and everything. Like a year after. I started and once you came in, I was like, I'm ready. Like, I know how to live here. I, I know how to do my thing. And it came with the same intensity.